So let's get into that. Once we have our Sway plugged in to Ableton Live, what we're gonna do is turn our Sway on. And as that's booting up, we will just make sure that our script is engaged correctly, which it is not. All of these purple lights are illuminated. So we're gonna go ahead into our settings and we're going to just quickly reset our control surface. As you can see, now my Sway is showing exactly what we have in Ableton. We have four channels, four tracks, sorry. One, two, three, four, awesome. Now, just a quick check. As you can see, cool, I'm soloing those tracks there. All right, let's dive into some basic mapping with the Sway in Ableton Live. So, I want you to come over to preset two. Cool, let's check that we're there. It should be an X and Y tracking mode, exactly like that. So let's go ahead and map something. I am going to open up one of my favorite VSTs, Serum, and I'm going to map the Y axis, which is the up and down movement, to my filter cutoff here in Serum. How do I do that? Well, I want you to click Command M if you're on Mac and Control M if you're on Windows and we will open a MIDI mapping menu. As you can see, when I put my hand into the playable area, I get absolutely nothing. That is because we need to configure exactly what we wanna map. So here, I'm going to click my filter cutoff knob, and as you can see, it pops up here. Once we're done, we can click out of that, and out of that, and Command M if you were on Mac, and Control M if you were on Windows. Now let's click that knob, and place our hand into the area. Cool, CC38, we can refer to our screen. Y1, CC38, all checks out. Now, once we hit escape, this is where the magic happens. Let's place our hand in. And as you can see, we are controlling that knob with hand movements. Let's open up Serum, just to get the visual confirmation. Would you look at that? Absolute magic. Cool, now let's map the X axis. Let's repeat the process, but let's, let me show you for the point of this demo, I will put it onto another filter frequency so we have that visual representation, which is always fun to look at. Sorry, Command M if you're on Mac, Control M if you're on Windows, and we'll click that filter frequency knob. Now, what you'll notice is that we are still getting that CC38, which means we're about to double map that Y axis. So, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the display screen. I want you to hover over to the X1 value, which should be 50 if you're on preset two. And I want you to click that one and now place your hand into the playable area. We have CC50, awesome. Let's click escape. Now I need you to click again to click out of it so we turn the Y back on. And as you can see, the Y axis is that filter cutoff and the X axis is that filter frequency knob. Cool, we have successfully mapped preset two to Ableton. Now, let's say we wanna take it to, uh, take it a step further and we wanna map a second hand. I will just drag another random knob in there to show you. So back to the MIDI mapping menu, let's say this feedback here. As I place my first hand in, I get CC38, which is our X1, uh, sorry, our Y1 value. But let's see what happens when I place a second hand in. I get a CC52. Refer to your display screen, you'll see X2, Y2. Now they are our two values for mapping that second hand. So please repeat the process for those two separate values there. I'll show you another preset. One of our base presets, which is one of my favorites, is this preset three, which is, as you can see, our three by three note grid, as well as a modulation region on this side. So the mapping process is exactly the same. We wanna configure what we would like to map. Command M, we click that knob and we place our hand into the playable area. And as you can see, I now have full control there. Now I wanna jump over to preset three. Now preset three is a fun one. This right here is both a button and a modulation. I believe you could think about it as a, a push encoder. So I am pushing that encoder in and then I'm moving my hand up and down. If that's not too clear, 
let me give you a visual demonstration. So here I have this little delay that I've created for sway and I want to map the on off button of that effect to the entrance of my hand. So as you can see, as I hold my hand there, let me just delete these last mappings to make it easier to understand. As you can see, as I place my hand there, and I'll remove this one as well, because it's no longer active. Okay, click the button. As you can see, yep, as I remove my hand, I get a CC14, and as I place my hand in, I get a CC18. Now that CC18 represents the up and down movement, and that CC14 represents the entrance alone. So let's go ahead and map that CC14. Now let's see what happens to the delay down here when I enter my hand and remove it. Yep, I'm turning that delay on. So let's take it a step further and map the dry wet to the up and down movement within. So I have to leave my hand in there and press escape. Now when I enter my hand, I can increase the value of that delay and I can remove it again which will switch it off. Awesome, now that you have mapped a couple of things within Ableton Live, I want you to have some fun.